This is the Coconut TV Show, sharing all of our action from our adventures in Penticton, British Columbia. Coming up in this episode, we shred the gnar on the champagne powder of Apex Mountain Resort. We build a backcountry ski jump. And we check out the volunteers and athletes at the 2016 BC Games in Penticton. Going up here, we'll, uh, we'll take this traverse around the side. This stuff over here is, is good backcountry riding. Up there, that's like the west face. That's Apex, isn't it? This is Apex, that's Apex proper back there. Okay. Okay, Chad, the owner of the Edge Bistro at Apex Mountain. How long have you been operating the Edge? We've been operating the Edge for six years. Yeah, this is the sixth season. We started it back when we realized that the mountain needed a bit of a new, new flavor and twist on food and beverage. Uh, the idea is for us was to bring something that was very affordable to the people that were here and keep it fast so they could get back out on the slopes right away. Tell me a little bit about the Edge Bistro and the products that you sell here. Okay. Yeah, we focus mainly on fresh products, right? Uh, the soups and the sandwiches. Sandwiches made fresh to order. Everything is prepped that morning and the soups are all made in house. Nothing ever comes out of a can or a box here. So that was our whole goal was to give people a healthy choice on the hill. Uh, if you look behind me here, you'll see there's no deep fryers. There's no, it's, it's a healthy choice. And how do you find life upon uh, Apex Mountain? You know what? Uh, since we've moved up here, I've got three kids, my wife and I, and the winter seasons are a blast. Uh, the kids have really taken to skiing, one races, one freestyles. The people at the resort are amazing. Most of them are on holidays, so when they do come through the line, everybody's in good moods, good spirits. You get to meet people from around the world. You can't think of a better place to live. <laughs> building a backcountry jump you don't actually want to crush these blocks because uh, you want to basically move the lightest amount of material or the least amount of water onto the jump as possible and build up the volume so you really want to take advantage of the natural crystalline structure of the snow as it's compacted in a snowpack so you can just cut blocks like this and you don't want to try to pack them down you just stack them in a retaining wall like this along the edge and then we'll fill the, the, the rest in with rubble. It'll all freeze together and it'll be super solid. It may even have air gaps in there. Okay, James, um, has the BC Games kept you busy? Absolutely. We have three different events going on up here. We have actually more like four events. We have a GS, a slalom in Alpine, and then we have moguls and we have slope style in, and a big air event in freestyle. Tell me a little bit about champagne powder. What is that? Champagne powder is a term that was coined uh, really to describe the snow. 
in the Okanagan Valley, we are really blessed with our temperatures here compared to, for example, coastal snow. And coastal snow means that, you know, when we have uh, ski resorts over close to the coast, you have a very warm effect that happens with the ocean. And that snow is generally heavy. And what we have in the Okanagan is light, dry powder. Sometimes when you're skiing through it, you just feel like you're floating on air and you just it blows up around you. And so that's a descriptive word to describe the snow and how beautiful it is. And it's like champagne bubbles that just bubble around you as you're ripping down the mountain. Explain your role at the hill this weekend for the BC Games. Well, my uh, Rob and I and our wives are our hosts and we're a welcoming committee for all uh, for all the kids and and we we serve our, our really critical part of the games because we give out the lunches <laughs>